Hey guys, welcome back to Acres of Adventure. If you don't remember or you're new here, my name's Tom. Before I get into the number one thing that I believe that you need for your Great Pyrenees, I want there to be two things that you guys comment below. So number one, comment what you think I'm gonna say for a Great Pyrenees. And then number two, comment what you think the number one thing is for you for your Great Pyrenees. I believe that they are such a unique breed with such funny characteristics. And I'm gonna love to hear you guys' answers. So, so I look forward to reading those. For all you that may not know exactly what a Great Pyrenees is, that's our dog. And he is a special kind of breed that was bred and designed long years ago and still to this day to be a livestock guardian dog, mostly with sheep actually. And they lived on the mountains and would roam long, long, huge, big areas and protect the sheep from any kind of predators and anything to keep them nice and safe. And we got a Great Pyrenees. The reason we got a Great Pyrenees though is we were gonna get chickens. We're thinking about getting goats here in the future. We're probably gonna have pigs back here. And we're starting our whole homestead and we needed something out here to make sure that they stay safe. And although he is not a 100% time living outdoors dog, for us, a lot of people use them that way. If we didn't live in the apartment complex when we first had him for our first couple months, I believe that he would have been able to be outside here protecting our chickens and it would have been great. He does enjoy being outside, especially when we have all this white stuff here on the ground. That's a positive, but he doesn't like to stay outside 100% of the time. He still does prefer to come in and cuddle with us and be with us. The point of this video though, is I wanna tell you guys probably the number one thing that you're gonna want if you have a great Pyrenees. I know what you're thinking already. You already know what it is. And no, I'm telling you, it's not headphones. <coughs> Although a lot of you guys might say it is, it's not headphones, not earplugs, anything like that. Well, if I'm telling you it's not that, then I'm guessing you're gonna tell me the second thing that you think it is. And I don't think it's that either. Milo, come on boy, let's go, let's go boy. Mr. Milo, come on. No, it is not a book to try to teach them how to listen to you better. If you got a great Pyrenees because it's gonna listen to your every word and follow you when you say to come and tell you and when you want to shake his hand he shakes your hand and when you want him to sit he sits or roll over let me tell you right now i'm sure there's people that figured out how to do that perfectly but this dog is not a roll over sit down lay down kind of dog a great Pyrenees is very instinctual he likes to make his own choices and decisions based on what he feels like he needs to do in those scenarios although they are very independent dogs and although he makes a lot of those independent decisions, our number one thing that you're gonna need for him may surprise you. Oh, here they come, rolling in. Our number one thing that we have noticed that you are gonna want for a great Pyrenees if you own one, and it's a very simple answer, it's companionship. Unless you're gonna be home 24 seven, basically all the time with this dog, they get pretty bad separation anxiety. It is something that you really need to take in consideration when you have this dog. This dog, like I said, was meant to protect livestock and to be next to them 24 seven. And although those sheep that he's with or the chickens that he's with or goats or anything else that you may have this dog for, he may not seem like he's like best friends with them. He enjoys what he's doing. He has a job and he has a job that he wants to do. So for anyone who has an outdoor Great Pyrenees, for sure, give him a companion to be outside with. Make him have a job so that he understands what he needs to do with that job. And that will make him feel all the better. It will give him his purpose and what he wants to do. And for a lot of you that are like us, that you may have a Great Pyrenees at home, I don't think I should be talking too close to the chickens. They start to make a lot of noise. We'll leave them alone. <laughs> Our rooster's on his last few days with us. He's been getting very protective over us. Like I was saying, a great Pyrenees, he needs that extra companionship. And if you're like us and he lives, you have a dog, a great Pyrenees that lives more indoors, that's okay still. And you'll be part of his flock or his flock. I don't know, we're not chickens. You'll be part of his, why do I want to say posse? I don't know what I'm trying to say. You'll be part of his crew, okay? I'm sure there's a good word and I just cannot think of it right now. And when he takes you in like that, he will protect you. And he will make sure he can do everything for his power to make sure that you stay safe. The problem now is when that happens, when you leave, he's gonna get very bad separation as I when he's left in the house because he needs you guys next to him. So I think what has really helped us 
for his main companion, even though we do have the chickens right now. And he does help try to protect them, but he doesn't live out here 24 seven, so he's not with them all the time. It's been with Bailey. Bailey, come here. It's been with our Wheaton Terrier here. Come here. We've had Bailey now for almost five years, I believe, maybe even close to six. And she's been our trusted Wheaton Terrier who is amazing at protecting us as well, actually. And she's done a great job of roaming the perimeter here ever since we've had her. And although she's not meant necessarily for that, she has a hunting dog and those protecting instincts inside her as well. Having her with 24 seven around with Milo has made all the difference. You go girl? I know. The reason a second dog or some kind of companion works so well for a great Pyrenees is that he just looks for that extra person to be with at all times. And it's so nice that Bailey and him have that good connection. I mean, if Bailey goes outside, Milo have to go outside with her. It doesn't go the other way around. Bailey doesn't need to have Milo out here. So Bailey won't necessarily follow Milo out, but every time Bailey comes outside, Milo will follow her because he loves having her company and being with her. And they do so good. They play together all the time. Although sometimes it gets a little aggressive. Bailey may be small, but she does stand her own against him. I mean, you guys know Great Pyrenees, and if you don't, they're super gentle. I think he sometimes just lets her win and makes her feel tough. So Bailey's definitely the one who wants to be the aggressor. It is just so nice to know that he'll always have that person with him at all times. And I can't stress enough how much I believe that this is that thing that you really need to have for a Great Pyrenees. I think that you need to get another animal and preferably another dog. And I think that's where I would go to say that if you want one Great Pyrenees, and you know that you can handle it, and you have everything that you need in place to own a Great Pyrenees, which if you don't know maybe exactly what you might need. I did do a video a few months ago called Eight Reasons Why You Don't Wanna Get a Great Pyrenees, and what that video does is kinda goes in details of for reasons why you wouldn't wanna have one, but in that video, I state a lot of reasons of things that you would need in order to have a Great Pyrenees, and things that you were gonna want. So check that out if you need to. But what I wanted to kinda get to that, if you're gonna get one, you might want to try to think about getting two and it is a big ask like i said these dogs are their own package and especially if you're going to have them inside your house two great pyrenees are big dogs to have inside your house but i think them growing up together being able to be companions together is going to make a huge difference for you all right anybody who does have a great pyrenees uh please let me know what you think that you, the number one thing that you need for a great pyrenees is comment that below i want to hear all your guys responses that's what we would have to say the number one thing that we think is companionship. So, and I think companionship goes with them having their job, which is hanging out with the chickens or goats or livestock or whatever you have them protecting or having another animal with them that lives with them most of the time. Just us as humans, we're busy people. Um, we try to slow down. We slow down quite a bit. We don't leave our house as much as we used to, but we still have to leave him every once in a while. So it's good to know that he has Bailey at home at all times, always with him. And it kind of gives him that companionship so he doesn't have as bad separation anxiety when we leave because he has took us in and we are the people that he wants to protect. I know you guys like the videos about him, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for more videos that we're gonna be coming out with here. Um, now that this snow, which was supposed to start going away, just came back a little bit, but we're gonna be getting our new chicken coop coming soon, new run. We have baby chicks that are growing at the moment. We have gardening stuff that we're gonna be starting up, all of our big garden. So we have a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming up here in these next few months. A lot of videos for you guys to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope that you guys can relate. So thanks again for watching and any other videos that you guys may wanna watch on our channel, go ahead and go see them. We do have a lot of videos that have been coming up on our chickens lately. So see you later, see you in the next vlog. Come here. Milo, come on.